The Role of the Teacher, Helping the Hungry Child, Standard Number 1, by Devin Murray, Katie Collinge, and Courtney Peterson. When a child is hungry, not only are they distracted by their hunger, but they are also unable to focus in a classroom. As a teacher, we have the responsibility to care for the development and safety of all students, and to treat students with respect and dignity. We must also respect diversity, our position of power and confidentiality, without exploiting the students. In Miss Murray's grade 3 classroom, there was a student named Katie, who seemed to be distracted, uninvolved in class activities, and lethargic since the beginning of the school year. Miss Murray started to notice that Katie wasn't bringing a healthy lunch, or any lunch at all, for a couple of days in a row. Miss Murray began to wonder if this was the source of Katie's behavior problems and the reasons behind Katie's distraction. When Miss Murray asked Katie about not having a lunch that day, Katie explained that she wasn't sure why and that she didn't know what to bring from the fridge. At the end of the school day, Miss Murray approached Katie's mother and mentioned that Katie may have forgotten to pack her lunch. She reminded her to double check for the next morning. The next day, Katie brought an apple and a juice box. Although this was better than nothing, Katie's lunch quantity was still a concern to Miss Murray because it was an insufficient lunch for a growing child. Miss Murray was still concerned about Katie's lunch situation. She thought it would be a good idea to ask Katie's mom one more time about her lunches and remind her to pack a lunch for Katie every day. Katie's mom explained to Miss Murray that she is a single mom working 12 hours a day and that lunches are often the last priority, and she thinks that Katie should be old enough to grab her own lunches from the fridge. As a precaution, Miss Murray had stopped at the grocery store to pick up some healthy snacks for the class. The next day, Katie had brought dry Mr. Noodles and a can of soda. Miss Murray suggested that Katie take some healthy snacks from the bin that she had brought. Miss Murray was now very concerned for Katie and her health and decided to take matters into her own hands. After class that day, Miss Murray went to the principal's office for advice on how to address the situation. She explained the circumstance of one of her students not having a lunch and being tired often. The principal suggested that Miss Murray and Katie's mother look into the lunch program provided at their school. The lunch program at the elementary school is served every day at lunchtime and is a sign-up program based on the honor system of parents paying what they can, based on their financial situation. This allows all students to have a healthy meal every day. Miss Murray arranged a meeting with Katie's mom to let her know about the school's lunch program and how it could save her time in her busy life. She understood how difficult it may be to raise a young girl by herself and working a full-time job. Ms. Murray addressed the situation, acting with care and without exploiting or embarrassing the family. Katie's mom was very thankful for the school's advice and for having such a great program available to all students and for Ms. Murray's help in finding a solution and acting in the best interest of her daughter. From that day on, Katie had a healthy lunch at school and became a happy and engaged student in the class.